Police officer Mlungi Siskakane, accused of killing two women, will remain in custody until Thursday when he's set to appear in court again. The suspect brought a recusal application forward asking for the magistrates to stand herself down. He's accused of killing both Antle Majosi and Stembile Ngobese. It is believed he was in a romantic relationship with both the young women. Now, ENC reporter Liti Wim Lure has been following this case. She's joining us now live from our studios in Durban for an update. Good afternoon, Liti Wim. Welcome to today. Thank you very much for your time. It sounds like it was a very brief appearance in court today. Tell us what happened. Very brief indeed, Braden. Um, Mlungi Siska kind of made that brief appearance at the Pines House Magistrate Court today, and his defense um, had brought forward a recusal application asking for the magistrates to recuse herself because one of the victim's father is actually a court employee at the Pine Town Magistrates Court. And the reasoning behind that application that the defense brought forward was that they think that the magistrates might be biased against Skakane, so that's why they brought this application forward. So the matter has been remanded until the 10th of November, so we will be getting, going back to the Pine Town Magistrates Court on Thursday for when we're expecting for uh, Skakane to make his bail application. He was meant to do that today because you remember that the last time we were in court on this matter, um, the defense had asked for more time to consult with witnesses and also to just get more time to basically find those witnesses. You remember that what happened during that night um, in um, October, it's alleged that Nlungi Isi actually called both Entle and Stembile to his home and that's where um, these women, these very young women were shot and killed. It's still not known as to what actually happened in that house, but the police did report that 11 um, bullets were found um, on scene. Um, these women were found murdered, they were shot, and the families now are just basically calling for justice. But today in court, we heard that, um, or rather, we saw that application being brought forward and also had a chance to speak to the families um, just to get their reactions to what is currently happening. And the Majosi family was saying that they believe that this is a delaying tactic from the defense's side, saying that they are basically looking for those witnesses because at this current moment they do, they do not understand why the defense keeps saying that there are witnesses to this matter when there were only three people um, inside that house. I did have a chance to speak to Andrew's dad outside court just to get his reaction on what took place in court today and this is what he had to say. Well, I uh, actually feel that this is totally unfair, especially because I, uh, I stay and work in this place, but I wasn't uh, supposed to be um, anywhere, uh, any other place other than there. Um, what has happened here is that uh, you can clearly see that there are delay tactics that are at play. The guy is um, asking for, is just grasping at straws. The last time that this matter was postponed, he said that he, is, he has witnesses that uh, he'd like for them to come through and uh, give his side of the story, at least regarding bail. Today we are here at court for him to do the bail application. There are no witnesses present, but what we find is that he's putting another application out asking for the, for the magistrates to recuse herself. Um, clearly, even when we come back on Thursday, as this matter has been uh, postponed for a short period, we might find that there's going to be some other thing that is going to come up with. And just looking at his uh, demeanor, just looking at him, uh, in person as he was standing in the dock today. You could clearly see that this is a person who has no fear. That's uh, Antler's dad there speaking to you a little bit earlier. Let you, he's not convinced that there uh, uh, will be no further delays come Thursday, but we've seen protests outside. As you were talking to him, there are a group of women gathered who are protesting against, uh, uh, against GBV. Uh, is there sentiment on the ground like in other cases that... Uh, the accused should not be granted bail? Of course, but then we saw um, a number of protesters outside the court today where they were calling for <clears throat> bail not to be granted to Mlungi Siskakane. You'd remember that Siskakane is a police officer and majority of the people that were outside were saying that he was actually meant to be um, protecting these women, but instead he allegedly murdered them. And a lot of people are saying that he should not be granted bail, including the families, both families. Um, they are calling for the justice system to do its work and not grant this person um, any 
bail. We actually had a chance to speak to the Ngobese family as well, uh, where they were saying that um, for them it's quite very, very sad to see someone um, that they've known for such a long time um, do this to their family because you'd remember, brother, that this police officer and Stembile Ngobese have been in a relationship for quite a number of years and they went to the same school together. So the family knows this, um, this, this police officer quite well and they were saying that it's quite emotional for them to be going through all of this. They are saying that they are hoping that communities and people will still come and support them even though um, this matter does not seem to be moving forward in terms of court proceedings. But they are saying that they are very grateful for the support um, of people coming out and just calling for justice in this, in this case. Um, I do know that the Majosi family also has a petition out where they are urging people to sign it so that um, the justice system can see that um, they are hoping that they will um, do something and, and this police officer will be behind bars. Um, so both families, the communities are calling for Mlungi Siskakane to face the full might of the law and saying that he, they are hoping that justice will prevail in this matter. Yeah, meanwhile, he remains in custody until Thursday. Of course. Uh, so the matter is remanded until Thursday. Um, we will be going to court and we are expecting for him um, to make his bail application. Um, he was supposed to do that today, but of course um, since he has brought that uh, recusal application forward, that could not take place. So we are expecting for him that on Thursday mm -hmm. he will be making his first bail application. Thank you very much. Litwe Mluli in Durban. In our studio is giving an update on this case that's involving a police officer accused of killing two of his girlfriends. He's gonna